you know, you talk to folks who live in San Francisco and there is like this bone deep feeling that like within, you know, a year or two years, we're just going to be living in a world that has been transformed by AI. You go like, I don't know, a hundred miles in any direction. And like that belief totally dissipates. And I have to say, as a journalist, that makes me bring my own skepticism and say like, can I really trust all the people around me? Because it seems like the rest of the world has a very different vision of, of how th- this is going to go. I've been I've been watching this for, you know, 10 years, right? I've been in the field for 10 years and, you know, was kind of interested in AI even even before then. We're in this awkward space where, you know, in a few years we could we could have, you know, these models that do everything humans do and they totally turn the economy and what it means to be human upside down or the trend could stop and all of it could sound completely silly. I've now probably increased my confidence that uh, we we are actually in the world where, where things are going to happen. You know, I, I, I'd give numbers more like 70 and 80 percent and less like 40 or 50 percent, um, which is, Sorry, which is clear, not 70 certain. to 80 percent uh, probability of what? That that will get a very large number of AI systems that are much smarter than humans at almost everything. Um, you know, I'd, I'd maybe 70, 80 percent. We get that before the end of the decade, and my guess is 2026 or 2027. Yeah. But on your point about the geographic difference, a thing I've noticed is with each step in the exponential, there's this expanding circle of people who kind of are, you know, again, are, 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 are depending on your perspective, are either deluded cultists or 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 grok the future. Got it. 